If you're looking for the best protection for your car, look no further to Expel. I put my cars through harsh conditions like constant B-road blasting, road trips and occasional track days and I want my car to look the best and Expel's Ultimate Plus Paint Protection Films never fail to protect the paint on my cars while keeping it looking amazing. All Expel's products including prime window tints come with an official e-warranty from the manufacturer which gives me an additional confidence and maximum peace of mind when using their products. And this allows me to be fully present and enjoy all my experiences with my cars wherever I go and whatever I do. Click the link in the description below to find out more about Expel's products and their official dealers in Malaysia. Protect everything you love with Expel. Guys, I'm back in Chiang Mai. <laughs> and continuing Evo Enduro 2023. In the Alpine, and today I'm in my full Alpine gear. I got my Alpine t-shirt, I got my Alpine cap, right? Just missing an Alpine sunglasses. <laughs> Alright, so everyone is in Chiang Rai, so they head up to the border of Laos, and I missed that. Right now, I am going straight to the route 118, 1186, something like that, right? So it's supposed to be the quote-unquote number ring of Asia, according to Alex STM Rock, right? So never done this road. The last part I've done it. This one is new. So I'm really looking forward to this drive. Okay. So I'm gonna uh, catch up with everybody. Uh, hopefully meet them at that route. I got roughly four hours of drive just to get there. So yes. Um, so far, the Alpine is great, and I'm gonna get myself to Chiang Rai, and I'm gonna give you more details about how the Alpine drives. I'm gonna go more in detail. Um, you know, into the nitty gritty of the driving experience of the Alpine. Okay, so more of that when I get to the twisty parts. Okay, now we're at Route 114. I finally got it right, and uh, this is a set of twisty roads. So we're now in the beginning part, the appetizer. Okay, so there's a very nice cafe up there. So I'm gonna try to film as much as I can just to show you the roads. And while doing that, we can talk a little bit about how the Alpine handles, okay? Alright, I'm gonna start off with uh, the drive modes. There's the comfort mode, and there's the sport mode and track mode. And all three of them wakes up a very different dynamics of the car. First of all, the gearbox, okay? So in comfort mode, when you do, when you play the pedals, there's no kick in it, there's no like punch in it. So it's quite smooth. Okay, now I'm in comfort mode, I'm playing with the pedals. And I downshift, you see? There's no, there's no like round, it's just like, like it just goes up in the rev range, okay? So you can sort of drive sportily without having the jerkiness and the you know the whole oral experience. It does help the passenger as well because it's not that, you know, what's the word for it? Cheek cake, you know, in Cantonese. <laughs> okay. Now if I go into sports mode right now as I'm doing, you can see that, hear the sound. It has more of that. And then upshift, there's a brap. So in driving, this, these things are very important for the sensors, especially for a sports car. So, and what I like about the sound, it's not all electronic. You can actually feel when the front happens, it actually, it can feel through the chassis of the car. So it feels somewhat mechanical, which is very different than say a Golf giving you that, that sound. Yeah, and, and the pops and crackles start showing up in sports mode. The pops and crackle on the outside sounds soft, okay? Not really obvious, but in the car, it's notable, not intrusive. It's really, really clever. And I kind of like this because I don't want to be drawing extra attention because I have this hooligan exhaust noise going around. Maybe I'm, this is my preference. And I think Alpine knew that the people who own this car are, you know, seasoned sports cars owner, and they want something that's a little bit less intimidating, less, you know, less in your face so if you like your loud exhaust and you want people to stare at you um, nothing that's nothing wrong with that just if that's what you want then this may not be the car for you it's very it's like a it's like a nice dress watch yeah that's what it is okay and last but not least track mode oh wait before I go on track mode it's the also the uh, traction control yes now we don't have an LSD for the car so we have an electronic differential and it's very very well tuned so in sports mode sorry in comfort mode it almost allows no sleep right when the car starts slipping it intervenes 
and you know straighten the car. In sports mode, you the the car starts to allow some slip. It's very clever, so it allows you to slide a little bit, but it will save you if it goes a little bit too much. Okay, and then when it comes to race mode, sorry track mode, it allows you for the for more sliding, more angle of slip, uh, which you know you've got to be ready to drive that <laughs> but probably won't do that on the uh, public roads all right now when we go to track mode uh, something changes again the gear shifts becomes more aggressive right and it almost like jabs you in the back right when you up shifts and down and uh, especially in the up shifts at the same time it has this really dalyable gentle non-offensive kind of like look and yet it can be so dynamic I really love it, yeah. Throttle response, brake pedal feel, a lot of these things in the car is done so darn well. Okay, onto the chassis of the Alpine. Now, first of all, it's no secret that the car is like 1.1 ton, okay? And of course, the lightness brings about a certain way of how it drives, right? It's very agile, it's so nimble, it changes direction very, very well. Very little inertia around the corner. but. Aside from the weight, it's also the way it drives. The character of the Alpine is such that it's like a dance partner. You have to work with its character. A lot of cars, you sort of do more of the leading, right? You, you also lead with the Alpine, but you gotta work with the Alpine, you know? So, one notable thing that I realized is the suspension geometry, right? So, one of the things that is done on the front axle is actually towed out pointing outwards. So why is that so? Because when your toe is out, you get to correct the car easier, okay? So how you turn in with a car in tight corners and stuff, even in fast corners, is that you use the rear to rotate the car. So when the car over rotates, you have to correct. So it's almost like you jack the car to get the car to, to, to angle and then you manage that. And that way you carry a lot of speed into the corner and you can throttle a lot when they're coming out, okay? So you can make a lot of adjustments mid-corner. You want more rotation, you can do it, all right? So let's say you go in the corner and then you realize, well, I don't have enough, you know, angle. You can correct that, okay? Because when it's really tight, you can really adjust your angle. A lot of options mid-corner. But if you work with it and if you embrace it, it's not only what makes Alpine special. It puts a big fat smile on your face, okay? And then it comes with the multi-dimensional character with the car. You can drive it fast, right? And smooth. You can play with the chassis in the mid-corner. And you can drive calmly, right? And just cruise. All of it is completely enjoyable. And I love cars like this. They're multi-faceted, multi-talented. You won't get bored quickly with this car. Yeah. Some cars you gotta really just push to ring out the power. You know, just to have fun with it. Like the M2 Com, I feel like I have to really push it to like 810 or 710 to really extract the car's character. Alright, onto some twisty roads coming up. Alex Giant, Giant Alex Sport. Oh, you're here, you're back. Oh, you are fast, man. You are 
Hey, son, what's up, man? Hey, what's up? Hey, hey, DJ. Hey, guys, this is it. Right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
How's the car, Alex? Your car is like a rabbit dog, you know? <laughs> Even when I don't want to go fast, I'm behind the car, it goes... <laughs> <laughs> That's a good imitation all, of a dog. All the, all the time, it's going... <laughs> <laughs> How do you like the drive? That is great. Yeah? It's great, it's great. Hey guys, we are here in street number 3. Apparently, it's a scenic view. The Alpine looks like a proper rally car now. <laughs> With the yellow lights. And look at this view. Oh my god. Goodness me. And with the sunset, we make it in the nick of time. Just in the nick of time. Here comes Alex flying in. Guys, so we're here in this place called Kyu Muong Hill. I, I don't know if I say it the right way, but the view is absolutely gorgeous. Not even, yeah, not even, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but look like that. Holy shit, look at that. So gorgeous. It's as though we are sitting on top of the clouds. You know, like this is like this is like one region and that's one region down there. Absolutely gorgeous. Can have a cup of coffee and watch the view. And this is you know, this is why we love Thailand because you have all these little little uh, shacks of um, you know restaurants, coffee shops in all these very scenic areas and people operate this. Yeah. yeah. But some gentlemen just sitting down there doing their work with the laptop here. Yeah. Come to Thailand, guys. Bye bye. And we are on our way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Wait. No, I mean, not bad. <laughs> 